Well, an amazing opportunity for train enthusiasts. We've told you about some cool excursions the Carter Railroad Museum at ETSU has planned before, but this one, this trip, they are going all out. Three days of trains. Here with more now, and our official invitation is Fred Alsop, and it's great to have you back. It's great to be back, and I'm excited about this trip, Amy. Yeah, you guys, you've done the, the one-day excursions, and now trying something a little new. We are. We, we've done one-day excursions for four years, a couple of them each year. That They've been great. We've yeah. enjoyed meeting a lot of people, but we're going to try not just an overnighter, but two nights, three days over Labor Day weekend to uh, the heart of West Virginia. And you have three different trains that you picked out, all with unique stories. All of them with unique stories. Uh, we will start with the Cass Scenic Railroad, which has been operating for a lot of years, behind geared Steve locomotives going up the third highest mountain in West Virginia. Oh, wow. They will transfer us from that train. We won't be going back to the bus to the Cheat Mountain Salamander. We'll be behind diesels right through the heart of the West Virginia mountains along the Cheat River that has an endemic amphibian, the Cheat Mountain Salamander. And that's what the, the, tr the railroad is named after. It, it is, and then Monday before we come back, we'll go to the town of Durban and we'll ride a Climax locomotive, which is a logging locomotive that will go up steep grades. It's called the Durban Rocket and it's anything but fast. Wow. Very cool. Yeah, you said it's about 10 miles and I think two and a half hours, yep, right? That's right. That's good. That's you can right. take good pictures that way, you, right? You, you can. And there, <laughs> there's a stop back along the river at, at the halfway point. Oh, neat. So there's a little chance to get off the train, stretch your legs, go to a bathroom, and then we'll hop our Speedy Express to Durban Rocket on the way back. Very cool. And you've put together a, a dinner theater and different buffet dinners and, and lots of really cool entertainment along we, the way. We have. We've got a package. Uh, we're going to start with Premier Transportation's modern bus here at ETSU. So the transportation is there. You'll have to buy your own lunch that day, but we're two nights at a Holiday Inn Express in Elkins, West Virginia. So we're leaving on Saturday uh, of Labor Day on the 3rd, coming back on Monday the 5th. That night, we're going to the Gandhi Dancer Dinner Theater. So cool. it's not just food, but there, there's music and entertainment that goes along with it. Then the next day, uh, on Sunday, we're going down to Cass, and we'll have our train ride there, transfer to, for to the Cheat Mountain Salamander, have a hobo lunch on, on the train Cool. on the way back, and then at the railway restaurant again that night. Uh, so we've got all the meals planned, two nights planned as part of the package. You've got two lunches, one on the way up, one on the way back that you'll have to buy. Sounds like it's going to be a lot of fun. And Fred, I know you wanted to come on the show early because you're trying to get a good head count. Limited space on this. We've got limited space. It's one bus full. That's all we're taking. That's 56 passengers. And uh, we also have a deadline. We've got to let folks up in West Virginia know we're coming two weeks ahead of time. So by August 19th, okay. about 11 or 12 days from now, Sign up or you're going to miss the opportunity. You absolutely are. All right. Well, there is that information. Sounds like it's going to be a lot of fun over Labor Day weekend. If you're interested, call that number or check out that email. Thanks, Fred. Thank you very much.